Hello guys, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Claire Dusigbe. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve this uh, problem. My SQL shut down unexpectedly. All right. So I was walking and uh, I woke up this morning and I tried to start my SQL and I have this error. So I'm going to show you uh, briefly on how to um, solve this problem. Okay. So let me go back once again and you know uh, try to start it again so that you see how the error pops up okay so I start Apache Apache is working very well and uh, I'm gonna click on my SQL all okay so now my SQL shut down unexpectedly is the error that we are currently having okay so i'm going to show you how to solve this um, error so we are going to go to my pc so i'm going to open the local drive or the, the um, local disk i'm going to open xam and then i'm going to open my sql so my sql now in my sql um i'm going to create a backup okay of this folder called data okay so i'm going to create a backup maybe i can just see uh backup all right so with that i'm going to create a new folder data i'm going to name it data all right so now what i'm going to do now is to go to the backup folder all right where we have all the backup of uh, our mysql all right so i'm going to highlight everything um in this folder and then i'm going to right click and then copy okay so i'm going to go back and the new folder that we have just created i'm going to open it and then I'm going to right click right inside and I'm going to paste uh, what I have just copied. Okay, so let's go back to the old data uh, folder that we have, you know, um, renamed to data underscore uh, backup. Okay, so we're going to open that. All right, so first of all, um, we are going to copy uh we are going to copy my sql and uh, we are going to copy all our databases all right so for me i have created all these databases i'm currently highlighting all right so if you have any other uh if you have of course you know the uh databases that you've created okay that you've created in your php my admin all right so don't forget I included okay I included my SQL all right my SQL is the default uh, database that when you install XAM okay you see it all right so don't forget to highlight this my SQL uh, folder all right in addition to the database that you have you know um, created okay so now I have highlighted all my um, databases and of course with the MySQL uh, default uh, database all right so I'm going to highlight one more file in here all right so I'm going to highlight this IB data one okay so IB data one so I'm going to I'm going to copy this I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to click on copy okay so I'm going to go back to our newly uh, created folder, which is the data. Okay, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. So I'm currently pasting all that I've copied, all right? I'm going to replace this
okay so um we have done everything that we are, uh, are supposed to do all right so for this old data folder that we have renamed to uh, data underscore backup is you know useless so we can either delete it or we can leave it the way um, it is okay so what will be uh, what we use is the new folder that we have created which is the uh, data uh, folder all right so we are going to go back and we are going to go back and test okay we are going to test uh, the MySQL to see if it will start uh, properly okay so we got that right um, my SQL uh, has started okay so let's see let's do um, one more thing I'm going to click on um, admin let's assess the PHP my admin dashboard so once this opens very well then we can you know confirm that it's working So guys, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button and of course hit the like button if you like the video and of course turn on the notification bell. All right. So guys, um, I think we have, you know, I don't think we have, you know, um, gotten this right and uh, uh, my SQL is running, it's running fine, it's, you know, um, it's running properly and uh, the PHP my admin dashboard is also um, opening the way it's supposed to open all right so guys I'm going to leave this video here okay don't forget to subscribe and to click on the like button all right see you in my next video thank you guys for watching bye for now